to share with us about the work, the work be between the teacher, the student and the parents. I think he has a lot of things to help and a lot of uh, new exercises to help to found a new team, uh, a new team of musicians that start with a little child home with the parents. That is the beautiful thing we have about our profession. Some, somebody say it's not a profession. Well, because if you love so much what you do, it becomes a nice thing to do, not a job to do. Well, I have to say that Tiago Afonso wrote a book and a book with a stamp of Esta Portugal. It's already the third book. We have already three books that are stamped with the Esta Portugal branch. And that makes us very, very happy. And that means that something is happened with the, the existence of the branch of European Strings Teachers Association in Portugal. As you know, this is the pre-season of Porto 2020 conference. And today we have news to say is that we have the final decision that we cannot make the conference live in Porto. That makes us all very sad because we were dream about this the last five years. We were dream to find European Strings Teachers Association in Porto and to share with everybody the love we have for our town and to make possible to the Portuguese teachers that are not don't have possibilities to go to an international conference outside the borders to join the conference and meet all this fantastic ESTA family in Porto. But we didn't give up. We will do it online and we will wait and we will apply for the next opportunity to be here in Porto. I hope the Central Board will agree to give us another opportunity because I think all of us deserve and all of us wants to work more to make it possible. But for this year, I think we have a very interesting program. Is Since you already see, saw all these videos in our YouTube channel, you can see that we have already some experience doing things online. And we have a lot of speakers that really want to share with all of us what they know about this matter, about string teaching and string playing. So we have dates now. We will do in two weekends, the final weekend of October and the first weekend of November. Wait for very, very, very special details. You will all of you receive, all the participants, all the speakers, but we will again open the registration so if you are not a participant, you still have an opportunity to make it. And you can be one of us at this first time European String Teachers International Conference online. I think we are making some kind of history because it's like this. Sometimes the things happen because they should happen. It's not because you can evaluate in a certain direction, but it's like a meteorite came un <laughs> to the earth and you need to find solutions. And when you are doing it without giving up, sometimes you find very interesting things that can help us for the future. So I think I spoke already too much. Let's listen our speakers because after Tiago, you ha we have a very, very special one, Hazel Vich. I think all of you already know. She is one of great members of our team. And uh, she is the, how to say, the marketing director. <laughs> well, the director of the marketing office. What? Do you like like this, Hazel? <laughs> yes, because she's making a stupendous job with all the sponsors and Stupendous. now it's time, <laughs> it's time to thanks Tomastic and Pirastro that are really with us helping us a lot 
and also making videos and teasers and promoting uh, the string player, not only not only the string products. So I think they are together helping us to go forward. Okay, Tiago. Yeah. Do you want to speak a little bit about of you? About you? You are a young member. Maybe first time you are in the conference. Yes. Uh, people I'm, don't know. People want to know about you. I'm a violinist. I'm 33 years old, and uh, I teach in uh, Conservatory of Porto and Conservatory of uh, Aveiro. Um, I, I work with uh, small children. Uh, my, my, my students are uh, little uh, between four and uh, I have uh, students between four and 18 years old. And uh, my, my work uh, is uh, a book that um, has uh, some uh, exercise from posture, left hand and right hand. And uh, it serves to, to prevent some, um, some uh, bad things that uh, we, we all have to, to deal with it in, in, the, in, the, in the university. And uh, my, my, my trail to, to that, it, was, it wasn't easy. Uh, I was a, a student with many problems and I have to, to arrange something and uh, this exercise was uh, a bit of my experience between uh, as uh, as a teacher and uh, as a student and uh, i i start to 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 do some uh, some pictures in in the the children's book and uh, i i i i think this work this is a a, a book that uh, has results and uh, instant results, and uh, my problem was in the in the in the um, in the weekly study of the the, the students. They don't didn't work work the, the the exercise or did it incorrectly. And I have to try some something like like this, like a, a small reminder that uh, the exercises are very very simple very explained with the pictures this is an example with the girl the left side has pictures and a small reminder of uh, uh, a few words of um, that, that are very important to, to remember and uh, the right side is for the for the teacher for the teacher and for the parents, the, the language is very easy to understand. We have also in the beginning a small violin with the pieces, the, the right hand and the left hand. And uh, I think this is working for me and is working for the, the teachers that are buying in, and the parents are buying to the, this book. Uh, I just sell this on Facebook and Instagram, and I, I have uh, 200 books uh, sell it. So I think it's working. Uh, I, I, I am trying to, to sell this on, the, on the, some big, uh, big houses, but uh, maybe in, in, in September, I, I, I have some, some books on the, the, the Oh, I say uh, in, in the sales to 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 sell the, this book. Great, great, Tiago. Uh, well, what is a big house? Everything is changed. Maybe a big house is your house because you yeah. are doing the job and uh, you are selling the books and it's it's working. That's great. Now, yes. And uh, is, I have to say, yeah. When are you going to translate them into English? Translate it into English, Tiago. Uh, when I, I has uh, uh, an offer to 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 do that, I will think on on, on that. I think it is interesting. Not uh, this is written in Portuguese, but I think this is a good book to be written in English, uh, a language that uh, everybody understands. 
and can be commercialized for the for the Europe. Who knows? UK. Uh, yeah, the, the yes. When Azel was interrupting me, I was just uh, starting to say that uh, it's great to have a book in Portuguese. Forget about yeah, English. No. <laughs> there are a lot of books in English. Don't lose time to translate it, Tiago. Write another one in Portuguese. I'm, you know I'm that starting now the, the person, second. I, I am, I am uh, speaking in a European uh, chat, in a European uh, channel of an European conference. But, you know, everything is in English now, and we think it's the same. It is not. I am... I, we never translate to Portuguese because we think, oh, everybody speaking English, everybody can uh, understand in English, blah, 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 blah. But makes the difference. I think we need to translate in Portuguese more books for the children. It's so, of course, Tiago, you can ask a friend to translate it to English, but don't lose your time. Write another one. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm uh, beginning the, the, the second book the, the middle uh, of uh, of the, the children, the, the, the exercise uh, level, level two, uh, um, is uh, the, the idea is to make three levels of, of uh, difficulty of the mm -hmm. exercise. And uh, this is exercise without, um, without music. We don't have music, uh, we just uh, have to, to 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 have a violin and uh, and uh, and a bow, and uh, uh, we work just on that. Is the the the, the simple of this is ju is just exercise without music. We we don't have to play nothing. We just uh, enjoy and uh, and have fun uh, doing some exercise uh, before uh, uh, practice. It's it's important to to start w with this exercise to 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 don't have uh, any difficulties uh, when when we study uh, when when we are uh, playing uh, more than one hour is is very painful to to. To, to us, no, it's not. Uh, um, it's not. Uh, Tiago, uh, Tiago, can you can you maybe can you say us which is the best exercise you have in your book? What what which exercise that students more like and which one make I more effect? This is uh, this is for me the the, the better for the the right uh, hand is these ones. Is uh, this exercise is is from uh, Paul Roland, mm -hmm. and uh, it's uh, from the, the the direction of the the bow, and uh, from the the me malleability of the, the the wrist and fingers. Uh, it's uh, four exercise in one, and uh, they they really work. Uh, the the children just have to do uh, every day. Uh, ten times uh, uh, the, the exercise and uh, the results are 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 very good, and uh, this is great. And the drawings, the drawings of your book is uh, is you that uh, did them? No, uh, I have to 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 hire um, um, an illustration uh, a, a mm -hmm. person that uh, that study violin, and now is uh, is an illustrator, and. Uh, and uh, the the pictures uh, I, I take from from me, right? I, I mm -hmm. take pictures doing the the exercise, and uh, the Dina is Dina Sash. Um, mm -hmm. the, uh, she she draw the the, mm -hmm. the the pictures with with the boy and the girl, and um, is very precise the, the exercise because uh, when she she send the the, the pictures. I was very, very precise in the in the in the expectations of the, mm -hmm. the the pictures because uh, the, they have to to the the children want to look and do uh, exactly uh, as uh, as it is uh, in, in. They must they must work like symbols and. Like, yeah, yes. Uh, the, the, and the, the, and the, 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 did you give did you give them a name? Yes, is uh, this one for example is click clack. 
Click what? Good. No, the name of the boy and the girl. Uh, no. Uh, ah, maybe it's I, time to baptize them. <laughs> I, I'm I'm a parent now, and I have to, uh, now two two children. Uh, I, I hope the second was a um, a girl, but is uh -huh. now a, a boy, so I can name it. <laughs> So the first is Francisco and the, the, the girl I don't have name for now. Maybe in the future when, the, when the, I am a parent again, maybe a girl and uh, she has a name. Do you think that can make a difference if you say to your student, Francisco is doing like this? Or if you say the boy is doing like this? Do you uh, think it makes a difference or not? I think so, and uh, I have to 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 do some some uh, um, some work in this book because uh, I think it is missing uh, the number of the, mm -hmm. the ex exercise is uh, for for the teacher and I, I talk to to myself. Um, we need to to explain in the in the book or, or in the diary of the the student that. Uh, he has to do some exercise and number one, two, three, and four. It is uh, some some things that I have to 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 increase the in the in this book. And did did any time one student of you gave a name to the boy or to the girl? That happened sometimes, or no? But because uh, the book just uh, was. Uh, ready in this pandemic mm -hmm. uh, so my my contact with the students was in the zoom and and other platforms and uh, we don't talk about that maybe in september mm -hmm. when when yeah. i start because uh, they they will name it mm -hmm. great okay so you see if you want to know about this fantastic book one more book uh, with the stamp of esther portugal you will have the opportunity to meet uh, more about tiago afonso at the conference and to ask him all the questions you have because today he cannot answer everything this should keep the <laughs> secret things for the conference because that will be the moment in autumn we believe that without any corona or we can may, ask, I, may I ask one <laughs> Corona <question>? beer? <laughs> of course, John, go on. Um, uh, is this book uh, entirely uh, technical exercises or does it contain musical material as well? It's just uh, technical exercises that don't have... Thank you. Uh, it's, it's like uh, um, an, uh, a book that uh, fits on every teacher's. Uh, yeah. Every teacher with, uh, with uh, all pedago pedagogy uh, can use this. It's like a that's continuum that's... Of, uh, of exercise. It, it contains uh, exercise from Paul Roland, uh, Suzuki, yeah. Kato Abash, and, uh, and others uh, are, are originals from, from me. So we, in English, we would say it's supplementary. Yeah, okay. Mm. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> Thank you. I think it's enough time speaking about violin. Maybe we need to speak about million violas. <laughs> <laughs> Hazel, I don't know if you had the opportunity to watch the video we prepare for you on Wednesday. Yes, I already thanked Amelia for, for that. <laughs> <laughs> Hazel, what is this Invicta Viola? Okay, uh, Invicta Viola is one of the activities that won't be taking place on the online conference. Obviously, it's not um, advisable to get 200 children playing in the same small place. So um, I think we can safely say that this project won't go ahead, which is unfortunate. But um, the whole idea of the original project was with the um, conference to be in Porto, um, we've, uh, the viola group um, here has done such amazing work for so many years with these mass viola orchestras that 
we decided it would be wasteful not to do it for all of the um, Esther participa participants at the conference. So um, we decided to do an Invicta viola instead of a, a big national viola meet. Invicta means from Porto. It's a special name that's attributed to the city of Porto for historical reasons. So <clears throat> the, the translation for us means violas from Porto. Um, and it's, I, I'm, I'm thrilled that when I started to think about it, we started to get worried that we wouldn't be able to keep it under 200 players. So that shows the growth of an instrument that didn't even exist in so 25 years ago. Um, and it's a great moment of pride, I think, specifically for me. So the idea was to, um, and we were organizing all of the teachers of more than 10 schools in the, in the metropolitan area of Porto um, to come and play, bring their students and come and play together as we often do um, with these special arrangements that we make. That is amazing. I, I, I remember when I started to play viola like five years ago when I started <laughs> <laughs> George, were you at our first um, orchestra the, the meet in Aveiro in 2003? No, I was not. No. no. So we've been at it longer than, than you. That shows how old we are. I think George is having some uh, net problems. Yeah, yeah. So I'll just keep rambling on. <laughs> so this system that we use, I think is very interesting for everybody. Um, it's a system of five parts um, that we uh, arrange of well-known music or, or original music. And the parts are divided from open strings. So total beginners can play. And in the past, we've had flute players saying, I want to play. So we've taught them the open strings and they've come along to play. Um, up to the first viola part, which is uh, superior school, college level and above. Um, so there's always um, a different part to be played wherever you are in your um, learning process. And we have many, many kids who have started off playing viola five with the open strings, and then they go to viola four, and this year I'm going to play viola three. And, and they, it's, it's a rite of passage that they have. Um, and we make sure that by the time they leave school, even if they're not going to continue and become and um, continue on, they get to play viola one before they finish. Um, and the arrangements are amazing. They sound fantastic and everybody gets a chance to feel important, even when there's 400 kids playing at the same time, which has happened. So I think, again, it's, it's something that other countries can use. I think it's something that brings players together. Um, Jill did something similar um, in Italy. Um, I know that John and uh, Jill have seen it because they were at our viola uh, uh, Congress um, some years ago. Um, and it's such a fun thing. So we've lost George completely, right? So the video we put up, which were the um, which were the meets, Emilia? We had um, which ones did you put well, on? That one was from Casa da Musica when we got the Guinness record with uh, three hundred and twenty-three, I think. 21, 3, 2, 1. I'm sorry. Yeah. It was um, 211, right? To, yes, 2011. 2011, yes. And then we have uh, one from Matuzinhos. I think it was 2000, uh, 217. 2017. 2017. <laughs> and the other was from uh, Oporto. Maybe 215, 50. No, I. <laughs> 2015. 2015. 
you should, you should speak it. Um, and I think oh, the Dolce yeah. Vita, yes, the one with the colorful t shirts. Yes, it was that very we, nice. So there's one in a concert hall, one in a shopping center, and one in the gymnasium sure. because we there are so many of us that that's the only way that we can fit in. Casa de Musica was the last concert hall we played in because it was the last one that was big enough to hold us. So now we have to go to sports halls and shopping centers. I, th I think they're terrific, uh, Hazel. I, I've really enjoyed them. Uh, we, we've done a similar thing in my part of England. Uh, of uh, We call them fiddle fiestas. But it, unfortunately, I have to, uh, to say, it's not just about violas. We have all the string instruments playing. In well, well done, you. Uh, but the, the uh, 150 kids in the same room, it, it looks like, I mean, I mean, when you see it, especially if you haven't heard it, it looks like a disaster waiting to happen. Uh, we discovered with the fiddle fiestas that uh, uh, the, uh, the, the uh, whole is greater than the sum of the parts, that having Absolutely. everyone playing together, especially, especially on string instruments, uh, yeah. that actually the, the, the effect of them all playing together, as long as you've got them playing the right, at the right level, um, yes. uh, so that you know, they, they're not being overstretched, um, you can really get a sound which, which, which is just incredibly good. Yeah. The weaker um, players and, feel really able when they're playing in the middle of so many others. Yes. Um, and if it gives them such a push. We all feel the effects of a meet for a long time afterwards. The enthusiasm level rockets um, yeah. and, they, and they practice harder. It's, it's, it's not just the kids, it's also the parents. Uh, it's the, the difference between the sound of one individual viola player scraping away at home. Uh, and a great maps of people playing together. Uh, yep. It's it's a revelation to the parents as well as to the kids. Uh, yeah. And uh, it's a, it's a wonderful thing you're doing. Um, and uh, if I was still in charge uh, here in Bedfordshire, I would be uh, I would be having viola days <laughs> <laughs> and borrowing your material shamelessly. It's well, it's it's all out there. If anybody wants or needs whatever. Our material um but it's a military operation yeah to get them in the right place at the right time um and then we just hope it's kind of sounds together we we always we always ask a conductor to to conduct but i i don't know how effective they are i think they're there to pose a little bit um and and we always ask many of them are actually husbands of viola players because we don't really want to you know <laughs> want to keep it in the family because it's all a bit scary for them, I think. Hello, George. Hi, I'm back. Well, can you believe that we still have internet problems? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody will believe on it. <laughs> Nowadays, and if you don't have internet, you don't exist. This is something to think about. Yeah? Well, but when I crash, I don't know why, I still don't understand why. Um, I was saying that uh, when I started viola, we were in old Portugal, less than 20. Yeah. Violas. But together with professionals, I would say we, we would be like 30. Yeah. Students and professionals, oh. viola players. And now you see only in Porto, we have 200 students. That's something more powerful than Corona. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a, this gave us uh, a feeling of win winner. The viola, the Portuguese viola players, they have a feeling of winning always. They are winners. And maybe that's why uh, Hazel gave this name Invicta Viola. <laughs> Because all of you know what is Invicta. Is that in English also? Yeah, Invicta, it means that it's in invincible. It always win. Like Porto, always win it. And Violas? Are you agree, Tiago? Yeah, I'm thinking that I had to, to do a, a book to, to Viola. <laughs> <laughs> Just change the name and give us the same book with a different, a yeah. different. Uh, 
child. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> if you if you, uh, you give him a bicycle and a, and you put a yellow shirt, so means okay. that is the first one <laughs> because <laughs> we all of are in front always. <laughs> is that Especially true that uh, Hazel? Is that true that uh, some uh, some students you had in Aveiro? That they they went with the the sister to the viola meeting, and they oh, want to change the viola. Yes. Okay. So the first meeting was in 2001 in Braga, and it was 20, 35 students. There were just four teachers, and it was really because we all had ten or less pupils in our schools, and they were very isolated. Um, so we thought let's get them all together and then it can all play for each other. So um, we got together, there was no there was no orchestra, but they all played a little bit, their own little solo pieces and we had other activities going on. It was a viola day. And there was a little seven year old pupil of mine and her sister went with her mother to watch her sister play and her, her elder sister played the harpsichord. She was, I think, nine-ish at the time. And the next day, her parents came down to breakfast and on the breakfast table, there was a letter in an envelope from her, from their eldest child, which said, please, please, please let me play the viola. I don't want to play the harpsichord anymore. Please <laughs> let me play the viola. So uh, this is a family where the mother's a singer and the father is an organist. So hence the harpsichord kind of. So they allowed her to change to the viola and she started learning uh, with me. And then she changed, they both changed to George and they're both professional viola players now. And this all came out of the very first viola day that we did. Yeah. And when I look at the photograph that we took of the second one where there were 66 viola players, two years later in 2003 in Avedon, I can count how many of them are now professional viola players in lots of different parts of the world. And one of them's even married to George. <laughs> That's true. Well, yeah. we didn't marry, but we live together. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's a great legacy. Yeah, and next year, you know, in Braga, we will commemorate the 20 years old of the viola, the Portuguese viola meetings. Yeah. So we wait uh, that we will make a very big event with lots of fun and happiness. Maybe we we'll let Tiago come and play. Instrument. Yeah. What? Sorry? Maybe we'll let Tiago come and play. <laughs> eh, yes. I, I had a conversation with Tiago many years ago. But he didn't understand my message. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the C string. Yeah. The C string conversation. <laughs> I like violin, it's but amazing. I like yeah, violin yeah. too. Are you, are you teaching how long? How long are you teaching already? Um, uh, 12 years. 12 years, my yeah. God. I remember Tiago in the first year of college. Yeah. It was yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I was more uh, fat. And... Yeah. <laughs> more happy. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> Great. So today is an emotional meeting. When we, when we we are with the violas, is like this. <laughs> no, but uh, it, it's really warm here, and the the feeling of uh, of I don't know. I I have a special feel, feeling in my sweat, also <laughs> because I I was listen listen the the students playing the final exam. They will finish their diploma ne next Monday and Tuesday. And with this uh, so warm weather, with music around and so big friendship, uh, it's really strange to have Corona around, no? <laughs> really strange. 
But, uh, the pianist is a Spanish guy that was forbidden to cross the border until some weeks ago. So he just now came because he was like in jail. He could not come here. And uh, that is really something we need to, I don't know, we learn something that we don't understand. But I hope it will be good. I think normal has happened. I don't think we feel it around as much as we did. There's become something normal about the limitations. I think we've we've adapted a lot. I don't think about you know, it so much. You know, I, it was a, a nice joke on TV a few days before that somebody asked to a very, very good epidemiologic how to say, a doctor that study this epidemic things. And uh, the journalist asked, doctor, when will we be free of Corona? And the doctor asked, I'm sorry, I don't know much about politics. <laughs> <laughs> because starts to be starts to be something like this, no? Yeah. Yeah. So has everybody finished teaching now? No, not me. Yeah. Next week I will finish. And and in in Italy and the UK and is uh, are you still teaching? We we finished on on June. Yeah, but um, I, I mean I, I think uh, I I'll carry on teaching through the summer. Right. Uh, but I do just with my private teaching that I do these days. Uh, right. But the schools will have their holiday as per normal. Right. Uh, so that means the end of July is, is the when the school holidays happen. The end of this month. Right. Uh, but there's right. quite a lot of activity in the summer uh, in in the core subjects, maths, English, and so on. Right. Uh, uh, where um, uh, teachers are being asked whether they'll do it, I don't know, but they're being asked to um, help uh, uh, the pupils who have lost the last three months of their education. Um, and and it, then, and what's the provision for um, actually going back into schools? Uh, well, the government said it's all, every, all the children are going back in September. Does that mean music uh, will also start? Well, they're, they're saying the whole curriculum. Right. Uh, so the, the intention is that it's not just what they call the core subjects, although we all know that music is a core subject. Uh, but uh, uh, they think maths and things are a core subject. Um, yeah. uh, and uh, so the original worry was it was just in this country, it was just going to be uh, a concentration of maths and English, numeracy and literacy. Right. Uh, but in fact, they've said it's got to be the whole thing. But uh, whether this is possible, I have no idea. Uh, nobody knows. Right. We're thinking in a small group. Yeah. Uh, or, or for example, the orchestra le uh, lesson is divided in two groups. Right. And because of the uh, size of the rooms, and we're thinking on all these things now. But right. the every school, every school. Is it's different, isn't it? So that's yeah. the problem. Individual uh, the, allowed the to of each school is different. Right. So uh, it's difficult to have one plan for everybody. I think we will learn a lot ab about the winter in the South Hemisphere. Now, in this time, uh, August and September, we will learn a lot what will happen in the South Hemisphere and and after maybe we can predict a little more. A little bit of you. Yeah. Well, going back to music, I have a question to Tiago. Because I don't know, Tiago, if you are completely aware about the name of your book. Do you know there is exists one book that very, very similar name? Uh, I didn't know the, the same name, ABC. I, I was I just now because my 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 son. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> so don't translate it. 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the books of uh, color strings method. The names of uh, they they are violin A B C, A violin A B C B violin A B C C and D. Okay. And uh, because uh, Maurice, uh, yeah, not only, Maurice is there. But no, it's not only for us. It's not only for strings. I I I have nice books about uh, Evelyn Absharian. I don't know if you know. Some of you know. It's a. There are fantastic books. It's from seventies, from the mm -hmm. United States. And one of these is A B C. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> but it's about a note speller. It's mm -hmm. about the notes. No, yeah, it's yeah. like uh, this thing. But uh, okay. this other uh, Absharian. This one, mm -hmm. it's amazing books for for the little ones. Yeah, <laughs> but when I see ABC violin, uh, I, I I remember this this uh, this book. Yeah, the 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 idea was from the 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 beginning. Yeah, uh, like uh, start uh, um, uh, to to read and and uh, draw the 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 ABC. And uh, like uh, in, in in our days uh, in music, we have to start uh, correctly. And uh, the, the idea was was that to, to start uh, with uh, the, with correct positions. Uh, we know that violin is not easy to play; it's not uh, anatomic, and uh, it's it's very important to to start correctly since the the beginning to the end. And uh, uh, many students like me and and teachers now uh, have have uh, problems in the in the back in the in the hands uh, in the the wrist and uh, I, I think this uh, this will will prevent the 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 problems in the in the futures of the the, the child this was my idea and uh, the the abc is 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 like the it's a, a new beginning for for violinist and uh, I hope for for viola in, in the future. <laughs> and Tiago, do you think, uh, with your experience already already of twelve years old, you are almost a senior teacher. Almost. <laughs> uh, with your with your experience, what do you think about this? Do you think the students should start before the ABC or after the ABC? Well, the, the question is, you start immediately to speak about notes, about the, the grammar of the music, or you think you start more with the, with the sound? I think the, the, the children uh, want to, to play and, and need to play. And need, uh, we don't have to, 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 to give the, 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 the name of, of everything and explain that they, they have to understand physically the, the, how, how to play. And um, the, the book is that. We, we have to understand physically, physically how to play. And uh, we don't have to, to name it. It's, it's, not, um, it's not essential that, that the, the child understands uh, everything. I, I think in the future we, we will... Um, like, uh, for example, uh, vibrato, it's, uh, we don't have to explain everything. He, he, the child just uh, have to do experience uh, how to do with that. Uh, I think this is the, the um, it's like uh, we have to, to like, uh, um, talk, no? like uh, Suzuki did it. Uh, the, the children don't know the name of the, 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 the the note but uh, they know how to 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 listen and uh, like in this is exercise is the same they, they have to understand physically how to do it and then maybe when uh, with eight nine ten years old we can explain them uh, why we teach uh, we, we teach that this is my experience that they, they uh, Many teachers uh, uh, lost uh, many time in the in the class in the classroom uh, explained uh, 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 to the to the children the 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 
pedagogy of, of uh, the the things and they 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 just want to to play and have fun with violin or viola or cello or or, or bass they, they want to 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 play they want to to be happy and uh, i think 80 percent of the 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 teaching class have, have to to the child is is playing is, is so how old are your younger students? I have uh, four years old, is the, uh, and uh, I, I had uh, three years old. Is uh, it was the the the, the youngest? Uh, it it was a, a boy, um, and uh, it, it, the violin was uh, like a, a toy to him, and he wants to play, he wants to to have fun, and uh, uh, the teacher was a. a, a like a partner in the in the playing room. But uh, after some years, uh, do you feel that makes a difference? That makes a difference that the child starts with three years old, or yeah, or I think uh, six years old. Uh, if the the child can start uh, with the three years old, and when he is uh, six or seven, he plays uh, very well and and have. Uh, some uh, some uh, development that uh, we ha in Portugal we, we have children that starts with uh, ten years old, eleven years old, and uh, it's not easy to 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 start with uh, with that age. The the three years old is uh, the the age they, that the child's uh, become to to speak and and uh, and walk, and it's very easy to to. To, to explain to the, the children how, how it works, the, the violin is, is more easy for, for the child, it's more easy for the teacher, and it's more easy for the, for the parents that uh, are very... Uh, it's, it's important in the development of the, the child. And so you the, feel the difference. If, yeah. you have a if you have a student that start like at three, when he will have 10, you feel the difference between a student that starts at six. Yeah, because in the in the conservatory of Aveiro, for example, uh, the 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 children just start with seven, eight years old, and it's it's very late to, to start the, the violin. Um, and uh, I know in Porto they they start with uh, with six years old. Uh, and uh, some private schools, uh, we start with three, in, and uh, the 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 gap between that is is very uh, we uh, we uh, can understand the difference uh, between these these uh, these schools. Yeah, this is this is a very interesting uh, issue, especially in Portugal, because uh, uh, maybe the foreigners don't know, but. With the changing um, the the cultural cultural education revolution in Portugal, we start music with professional music schools that gave uh, classes only at the seven uh, year of uh, scholarity. So that means a very big generation of musicians start at twelve, like me. Yeah. I started twelve years old, uh, and uh, that. Still, there is a, a very, very big uh, number of very, very good musicians that start with this age. So, uh, of course, we, we of course it's better to start uh, uh, at a very, very young age, but it's not impossible to start late later. I, I know, I know, but uh... with with very, very big, big uh, results. I think maybe it's. It's, it needs to have a study about that and to understand uh, some things because uh, it's interesting. Yeah. Nobody believed. I remember when I was traveling, when I was younger, uh, if I speak to... Oh, I remember one time I, I spoke to a Russian colleague and I said, oh, when did you start? I said, I started at 12. Go, oh my God, and before, what did you do? <laughs> because... <laughs> He could not understand if there is something to do, but not music. <laughs> yes, oh, I did a lot of things. <laughs> because in Russia, you know, they, they started the parents uh, with the grandparent, uh, with grandfather, the grandmother, 
the father, the mother, the aunt, the uncle, everybody is teaching the child with three years old and they can start of... in the womb. They start yeah. in the womb. Before they come out, they know what they're yeah, playing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this, but this I'm is... very interested in your book, Tiago. I think it it looks to me like it's a really perfect handbook to send home with the children to work with the parents so the parents can understand what you want the child to do. So the child looks at the pictures and the parents read the text yeah, and it's yeah, a help yeah. to keep them on track in between lessons. That's yeah. uh, we, we, how I see it working for me anyway. You know that uh, some parents uh, tell us that uh, I don't understand nothing of violin and uh, this is, uh, with this is no, no more excuse yeah. for that. Yeah. And, uh, um, and I, I have uh, the, the feeling that uh, parents are needed in the, in the seven days of the, the week because uh, we only have uh, one hour uh, and less uh, of uh, class and uh, the, the parents is the, the second teachers at home. Yeah. And uh, this this book is is uh, to to help the, the parents uh, helping the the, 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 the children, and um, I think the the, lang the language is it's very easy to them to understand. They they have uh, all the explanations and the, the objectives of the the exercise. The the names are very easy too. The it's uh, it's. Uh, it's a, a, a child with a childhood language for for the it's easy to to memorize it's it's very easy to to understand the book is divided in the 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 the, the poch, posture uh, right hand and, and left hand and uh, have some exercises that are uh, continuous or, or I have to start in the, the first and the, the, the second day I do the, the second exercise, the third day the, the third exercise is uh, it's, it's like um, an, an exercise for, uh, for uh, uh, all the days of the month. Uh, they are 30 in the total and um, I think they, they work. Uh, it's not uh, my, my inspiration. Uh, I have some, but uh, this exercise is, is, the, is the exercise of Paul Roland and Suzuki and Katwavas, and th they know that they, they, they work. Uh, so, so I think uh, this is like a compendium of, uh, of them. I read the, the old books of them. And uh, I did this this small book. This is a small book. It's not. Yes, the nice size. Yeah, uh, and uh, it fits uh, on the and on the violin cases. It's uh, the 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 violin. That they have the 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 back, and can, they can put the 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 book in there. Uh, it's uh, it's. Uh, uh, a thing to to be on the the desk of the child and the desk of the teacher. Uh, the the idea was that, and I hope uh, I will sell more books in the future. <laughs> I'll have one. Have, have one. you ever have you ever thought about uh, selling a PDF version? Um, maybe in the future, because uh, uh, for now I. I, I I start the, the, the printing uh, book uh, for this pandemic uh, way. I, I sell it uh, in, the, in the Facebook and Instagram, and uh, I, I send the, the book to, to, the, to the people's house, and uh, they pay me with uh, MBA or, 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 uh, or transference. It's, it's easy to, to, to do this, this, uh, this change of the, the book and money. Uh, um, uh, maybe in, in the future I, I can put it in the in the in a platform, or I have to 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 know more about that. I have a question. For yeah. Mm -hmm. Hi. Um, uh, how do you manage to to make the child uh, doing these exercises at home between lesson to lesson? 
mm -hmm. because sometimes we, we, we do this kind of exercises in the lesson, no? With uh, playing with the bow, like uh, this uh, foot uh, playing, and and then uh, I, I have the the sensation that home uh, they do differently as uh, we we do uh, in the lesson, and I have the parents in, in the in the classroom mm -hmm. and uh, they observe, but sometimes at home uh, happens something. Yeah, uh, we, we have to. <laughs> Uh, How do you deal with this situation? Uh, uh, working with this kind of exercises, these uh, body exercises or technique exercises. Yeah, my my problem was was that that uh, uh, I know to, to how to do the exercise. I, I do the exercise with the students in the in the classroom, and the parents are watching. But uh, at home, they they did it uh, incorrectly, and uh, I think. Uh, when I, I have my master's degree, uh, the the thesis, uh, I, I want to create something, and was the, this book uh, to 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 try to minimize minimize the 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 the, the gap between the the classroom and uh, and the weekly study, and uh, to help parents and to help the the child to to overcome these these problems. Uh, and I think with the pictures, because uh, many of the books, like uh, Paul Roland and Suzuki and Katwabash, the, the the pictures are are normal people, and uh, they are not uh, enthusiastic for for the children. Uh, they they want uh, something more 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 fun, more more uh, colorful. And uh, the, these pictures have many colors, many many fun, and uh, I think they, they work uh, because uh, just for uh, just watching the the the, the picture, the, the child understands how to do it, and uh, he knows how to 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 move the the, the arm, the the fingers, the the the. The hair, the the the, the feet. Uh, I think uh, I think it works. Great, thank you very much, Tiago. Thank you, Mauricio, for your question. Is there a last one flash question? Because the time flows and we need to end this meeting. Okay, uh, thank you for the last question. <laughs> I will. I will. I am sorry for the present, the present uh, people here in the meeting, but I need to repeat some details about the conference because we had a little technical problem, and our YouTube uh, transmission starts late with these technical issues with the internet. I had and also Mariana had. Uh, so it's important to say that we have a final decision about the Porto 2020 European String Teachers Association International Conference. It will be online the last weekend of October and the first weekend of November. It will, it will stay, we will stay online from, from Friday, uh, day, Emilia, can you help me? I think 29. No, it's October 30. 30, uh, 31 and November the 1st. Yeah, but Friday, we start on Friday. Oh, Friday night, it's uh, October 30. 30, okay. Uh, Friday evening, it will be the opening session and we will stay together until uh, the Sunday 7, yeah? Uh, 8. 8, okay. 7 and 8. We will do the most of the lectures and workshops on the morning of uh, Saturday and Sunday in parallel sessions. We want to make uh, uh, not so many time online. So we, we will start, uh, we will do like four hours in the morning, but, uh, but many parallel sessions that will stay online, available to watch, not live. 
So we need to choose, you as participant need to choose which session you want to be more active, to make more questions, and uh, which ones you want to uh, look uh, after, because you will have like three weeks to, to watch all the sessions. Um, if you are a participant, if you are a presenter, or if you are a sponsor, all of you will receive very soon, very, very, all the details. And also, it's important for the participants, we need to make a refund of the fee, because the fee of the, 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 the online, the conference in Porto was much bigger than the online fee, because I think you will understand we have much less costs uh, online. So we we will say the details to to for you to give us the the necessary data for us to refund the money the money. Uh, if you are not a presenter, you you can maybe still apply if you have a very interesting issue that you want to share online. And if you are if you are not a participant, you still have. Uh, opportunity to register in a very cheap way and easy way and join us online. Uh, about the meet the speakers, I must say that last week it will be the last one. We will uh, we will speak about music and about chamber music, and we will have with us Volodya, the president of uh, Slovenia branch because he was one of the players of the Porto 2020 conference because he will he would be playing a concert uh, in Porto uh, last April uh, so he has a lot of things to share with us about his own trio about the people changing people the importance and the, the importance to find the right people and the, and uh, the issues about chamber music that I think all of you will also want to know more and maybe to listen something that you know, but you always learn when you listen the same thing for the second time or the third time or, I don't know, repeatedly, all life. Thank you very much for being with us. I know you are on the beach. I hope you enjoy. You can go now to the water because uh, or maybe you are already in the water because the phones are now possible to go to the to swim with them uh thank you very much and very very special thanks to tiago for being with us to azel to share with us the invicta feeling and to all of you that are with us at zoom meeting and all of you that are watching us in youtube thanks to Tomastic and Pirastro, our very, very, very special sponsors. And see you next week. Thank you, George. Thank you.